What is up, it's your boy Johnny Shreve, I have BB promo to tell like it is. Welcome back to the episode of Coaching Up. Today we're coaching up Godfather of Bodybuilding. Yes, we're coaching up your boy, Mr. Charles Glass. Whew. Look, you're not excused. If I either see something that can be done or optimized or might possibly can, you see him tiptoeing around this man? It's a Godfather of Bodybuilding, for sakes. Like, he, like, I looked up to him. I still do look up to him. He's a shit. But, like I said, I gotta tell you like it is all the time. I'm gonna tell like it is with, with form. In this video, I gotta point things out because I just gotta do it, I gotta do it. Anyway, we're watching Rafael Brandeo, absolutely phenomenal physique, great bodybuilder. Um, hopefully he's gonna be back this year, but while Rafael Brandeo is gonna go through a back workout, a few exercises that I find that we can definitely change. If you wanna do them, you go right ahead. But I'm saying, check it out, this might be better to do. And I'm gonna show you reasons why you probably shouldn't do this. Just don't do it, okay, just don't do it. Anyway, start off here. Whoa, whoa, clear out the room, I'm coming through. They wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra read about it. I'm today's trip. Okay, so we're doing behind the neck pull down. So we're, okay. So we're gonna watch this set here. And, all right, always to the bottom. Stop at the bottom. So you wanna squeeze at the bottom. See how he needs to get his help? He needs help bringing that to the bottom, right? And we're doing lat pull downs, right? Any vertical pull primarily is going to be tears major and minor, creating that width. So to be able to pull ourselves down, that is a very hard position to be in doing this. So here we go, pull down. The reason why I don't like this, we gotta pause this a little bit here. Okay, so we got pull downs, right? So we have behind the neck pull downs. There's a few things that are off. We're looking at obviously his neck angle, it's pointing down, right? His neck's this way. Straight as this way, he's on a bit of an angle if you can see him on his bench. Here's the angle of his shoulder and his arms and his elbows are obviously behind that. There's a few things here that are very, very uncomfortable or wrong. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, so check it out. So we're doing pull downs behind the neck. Now the reason why I don't like doing these at all is because your range of motion for most people is messed up. And to really do this, the reason why he's got to have neck this way is so he can clear the pathway to firmly able to pull that weight down. Now, naturally, if you look at it, if I'm pulling with this, and my head is this way to pull down, for me to get all the way down, I'm pulling a lot of strain on my delt. Lots of strain. Pulling, trying to pull it down and in. Now I have mobility, so I can literally come here and pull down, if you have the mobility. But again, I have to adjust myself up and down sideways to pull myself behind. Now, if we look at the pathway, in terms of like us pulling down, Terry's major, minor, shoulder extension, pulling this thing down, shifting everything down, that's what we want. So when we're doing pull downs, for us to really get activated more, we have to externally, internally, sorry, externally rotate this way. So doing that is gonna force me to have to pull this way for me to pull down. And then I'm gonna get into the range where I'm pinching with my scapula, which I don't wanna do if I'm doing lat pull downs. I literally wanna hit my Terry's major minor. So Terry's major minor pulling this way, right? So you have to externally rotate. Now from the side, you can see this is the optimal position we want to be in when we're pulling to have our elbows pull to the side. A couple of things that are off. One, his width is way too wide. The further you are, the less range of motion you have to pull, right? If you think about it, from this wide and pulling here, it's a less range. If I'm here, I could pull, elbows come all the way down and up. So pulling this way is going to force us to pinch with our scapulas. And then we're working more rhomboids and traps and scaps instead of our lats. So he has to pull like this. And that load comes right off of your lats, not as much, and it goes right into my delts. So my delts take over. So we're looking at that whole you know pie chart thing. Primarily, a lot of this is a rear delt exercise. So to do this properly, literally, whether you're facing this way or this way, we want to be in a position where our back is straight, our head is up and straight, and we can pull down and up. Right, I want to pull and up. I want to pull my elbows to the side getting my Terry's major minor to pull and up and not here trying to pinch like this and I'm not really getting much range of motion at all in my lats so not a fan but do it if you want but let's go back to it again yo guys what's up a lot of you guys are watching the videos but not subscribe so do me a favor subscribe to the channel and also hit the post notification button too so next time I put a video you'll be the first ones to get it and hopefully by now you guys like the videos or like all my videos whatever Hit the like button for me. Anyway, back to the show. So like, so we gotta go here and we squeeze. You wanna squeeze down, right? Squeeze where? Feel the momentum coming down and squeezing and then momentum and then contraction, right? We don't 
want our scapulas to squeeze when we're doing pull downs, right? Remember this, if we're doing vertical pulls, we don't want our scapula to retract. We want our scapula to retract when we're doing rows, bent over rows, seated rows, any row motion, we want to row and have our scaps retract and pulling everything back. Not when we're pulling down because it's not necessary. For us to pull down and do this, right, we're going to take away from the range of motion. If we want to open up our lats from external rotation, that's going to open up your lats even more. Your tear is major or minor. For all you pedantic people out there. Either way, that's a bad cue. So I got to call them for that. It's a bad cue, right? We want to be optimal. You want to put the load of that on your, on your lats to make yourself wider. Then we're pulling down and letting our scapula stay open, not retracted. Anyway, right, he's giving cues to pushing down, right? Now look at the position he's in. How can I really get in that position with the bar behind my neck? This would be great if we're doing regular pull downs. Well, we're not doing regular pull downs. We're doing pull downs behind the neck. So you can't get in that position. It doesn't make any sense. So he's coaching this, which is fine, but it's Charles Glass. He's gonna do some very old school stuff. Some very new school stuff he has, basically modern day stuff. That is not a good position to be in. If you gotta have someone pull you all into your range of motion, his rear delts basically are, are done. They can't pull back anymore, right? That's just a strenuous exercise on your rear delts. Anyway, we don't really have to stick around this anymore. Again, not the position you wanna be in doing this motion whatsoever. Head's not aligned. He's pulling his elbows backwards, tracking his scapula, the load is off his lats and his Terry's major, the entire lats are off, okay? I'm tired of saying Terry's major minor, damn it. It's off his lats, it's in his delts, it's in his neck, it's in his core. It's not where it needs to be. So we got basically unilateral pull down. So this is what Charles Glass is coaching, right? This is what Raphael is going to do. So we have the incline bench here. Okay, we have our feet up, basically in a rock position. This is a this is a row, 100%, this is a row. Is this a good move to do? 100%, this is a great move to do. Charlie Glass is infamous for like finding different ways to use the gym. Like literally he'll find, give you a bench and a couple things and literally make a complete different machine, right? This is kind of giving you guys an idea of how much you can definitely take the gym and create your own thing, as long as it creates the same stimulus. Now, this move in itself, how can Brandon do this well? So right, again, this is a good movement from Charles Glass. This is not good activation from Raphael. Now you're gonna look at him and be like, look at all his muscle, he's massive. Uh. Yeah, but he could be doing this a lot better, right? So again, a lot of things here that he's doing, he can bridge a gap. He's a professional bodybuilder, genetically gifted. So we're gonna make this a little more optimal. So let's take a look at this. So our bottom range of motion is what we're looking at. Now again, we're looking at our physique here. Here's our straight back. We have our shoulders. We want these to pull ourselves back. We want our delts to help pull everything back as well too. Well, the Terry's doing flexion, and then obviously the elbow's going down, and then we're pulling in. We want this elbow pathway. This is his end range. So let's go back to here. Look at his end range is. So here's his end range. Now, if we want to get the fullness out of this entire movement, we need his whole body to open right up. What I mean by open up is we want that elbow to be pulled back more, right? The more the elbow can go back, the more the lats are working, plus being pushed down. We want these everything to shift back. We want the scapulas to retract in this manner, just like before, but not with the pull down, more so in the row. And then we want that head to stay up. It's always forward, we wanna open that chest up, so. So what I mean by opening up is Raphael is basically here, right? What I mean by opening up is I need to be here, like Charles Glass was at the beginning of the set. He literally was showing him to be here and then opening right up. And that's what you wanna do, you wanna open up. Now for me to get it in my lats more, for me to create that shoulder depression, again, doing shoulder extension, pulling this down this way. I need to pull my elbows down to the ground still, putting my chest up to keep my spine neutral. I have my head looking up, opening up my chest. I can't open my chest when I'm like this, right? Can't be this way. My chest opens up, everything opens up, my back starts opening up. I can't really retract as good as I can when I'm here. And what's funny is the cue should have been for, I would say for Charles Glass, is like the same thing would be if you're doing a, front, a back double bicep. To be able to open up, you have to open your chest up. You can't do a back double bicep like this. For me to really extremely rotate here, I have to be in this position. My chest needs to be up. So a lot more T-spine flexion. And then my head being straight, I can't do this. So when you're doing this pull, we want to be a place where we're 
our head stays in a line. We're reaching, protraction, and then pulling back, opening up at the same time that elbows are coming back as far as they can, right? You see where my elbows are? They're not here. They're here. That's how much more room you get from being like this to being like this. I'm still engaging my core. So pulling from here, up. And pull, right? I like to do this and keep my back at this position and then pull the rest so I can get a full range. If I do this, I start shortening the range a little more. So I wanna be from here, pull. 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 Open my chest up, squeeze my scaps together, open that chest, shoulders down, chest up, pull and squeeze. Neck straight, keep my gaze up or just straight align with my body. Going back to Cali, Los Angeles for my first two day live training camp, the coaching up training camp held at Flex Gym Woodlawn Plaza. April 23rd and 24th. Guess what guys, it's only open to 25 participants because I wanna keep this thing very intimate. We're going over two days worth of training fundamentals, technique, mobility, and also covering nutrition for proper energy balance to help you gain muscle, lose fat, and just be an overall optimal functional training athlete. Okay, so next we have um, reverse pec deck. So a couple things here. Um, and you know what, I'm glad he's doing this because people still are getting this movement very wrong. And there's a few things we can do to optimize this right away. Um, number one, we need to kind of give you guys an idea of what the rear delts actually do, so. Okay, so first thing you wanna know is like, what does a rear delt actually, like, what does a rear delt do? What is its job? So its job, number one, is it does external rotation, so it helps you do this. So like any movements like this, right, eh, whatever, that's external rotation, rear delt. Rear delt also does shoulder flexion, so pulling it down, right? It helps pull it down, does this, right? And then it also does help pulling back, horizontal, Abduction, not adduction, abduction. Putting your arm like this doesn't necessarily help in terms of doing this at all. Unless he's intentionally making your arms go this way to pull down, then that kind of makes sense. You know, to make it more optimal and make it make more sense, leave it where it needs to be to do what it needs to do, right? It does shoulder extension. So just leave it down like shoulder width apart or lower. Let it run between where it's supposed to go so it's easier for you to do shoulder depression. And then again, you know, make yourself pulling open, right? Let it do what it needs to do and pull it back, right? Let your whole body open up and pull, right? Keeping your chest up is gonna help you be able to activate that muscle better. So let's look at this again. Just the angle we have here, not that optimal, right? So again, we're looking at letting this, letting your rear delt do its complete job and really fully retracting, like getting all the way back and letting the scapula fully retract. We have to have our head at a neutral position to help align with that. So then from here, I want my shoulders to go down. I want this, see where my rear delt is? Keep it on that plane. Why raise it up, right? There's no real point unless you're doing cables and pulling it down, then that kind of makes sense. But for here, it really doesn't if you're in a fixed position. So keep it parallel. So you can actually pull down with your, with your rear delts. So kind of give you an idea. So from here, we don't want to be here and up here. I'm in a, I'm in a really not an optimal position at all. I'm not going to be able to, again, I want to squeeze my shoulder blades back and pull back, I'm not in a good position here to pull. Again, I'm gonna really say get yourself in position so you can be on the bench from here or you're straight, right? And then hands being up here to help because again, for most people, they're gonna just gonna do this. They're gonna pull back and they're gonna do this kind of stuff here, which is very common, right? So get in a position where you can depress the shoulders. So basically shoulders away and back from our body and then pushing your shoulders out now we're gonna do, we'll do it the way they're doing it, basically exter ex extremely internally rotated, right? And then we're gonna pull out. I wanna get my chest up, my head up. So when I pull out and push away, I can ease out and then retract my scapula and then let it come out and let everything retract, heal those scaps open and then come from protraction to a retraction to get fully opened up. And then head up, how much more, look how much range I get from being here. The stress is on my delts that much more when I'm here and then back protract and coming back and retract and we can get everything squeezing back 
right? Open up those shoulder blades. Don't let it sit like this the entire time and just do this, right? It's making it way easier doing this. So what we want to do again, get a cell position here, pushing your arms away, shoulder pressure right away, and then pulling out and chest up and pull and then retract. 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 And just doing it that slow literally puts that much of a load on my delts, like directly on my delts. That's the whole point, is we're trying to make sure that when we're training, whatever muscle we're training, we're putting most of that load on there, 80%. Pie chart thing. So let's watch them some more on this. Okay, so we got this case. Shirt's kind of off. This is actually good because we're gonna be able to see what his muscles are doing back there. Very good looking back. Guys got a fucking wicked physique. All right, so we are super wide. Now again, you're getting like, yo, hey, Johnny, what are you talking about, man? Look. Obviously, he looks like he knows what he's doing. Of course he is, because he's freaking genetically gifted and he's on steroids. Just be smart, right? But we want this to open. We want this to open up more, right? But if you look at it, if we're trying to do delts, what do you think's taking more of this out? This is getting more work than the delts are, right? Now I don't know if that's what he's trying to do, but if he's trying to have this exercise target this muscle. It's not the right one to do. You want to row that muscle or shrug that muscle. You want to row or shrug the traps for those to move. And we want to basically do this to hit our delts. But again, all of this is taking over. That's why you can't do what some of these guys are doing or even coach because again, these two movements are kind of counterproductive to what they're trying to do. If I'm trying to really get my back thickness, I'm not doing reverse pec deck for back thickness in my back. I'm doing reverse pec deck for primarily my rear delts nothing else. Everything else there is assisting. If you look at it, this entire muscle here is taking the load. So for instance, right now, this would be one of the things where your delta getting 20% of the load and 80% of the load is going to this, the stabilizing muscles that need to be there to assist on the lift. When I'm here, the difference and being here, when I'm rowing, that's a better movement when we're rowing, but he's in this position the entire time and then doing this. And then my delts aren't doing anything. I don't know, they're not doing anything. I don't feel it at all, at all. What you wanna do is literally protract, push away. Watch my shoulders push and how I'm doing this. You can see everything open up and then close together. Opening up and we can close and getting our chest up, head up and opening up. And you can see my delt is taking the load of my delt, not my traps until I get here. And then they're squeezing. That's where you want to be, not up here and here. We're just not going to be able to properly get to this position here when we're opening up. That is it. Hope you guys kind of learn from that. Again, my job is to bridge the gap of information, letting you guys know what certain things are optimal or not too optimal. Again, you can't necessarily copy bodybuilders. Number one, they're genetically gifted and two, they're enhanced. So a lot of what they do bridges the gaps to their mistakes. Of course they train. I've been that person before. I can change whatever with bad form and it's gonna grow as long as it's stimulated. It's gonna exacerbate that ability to grow muscle faster. But when you're a natural person and you're trying to stay away from injury and really make it optimal, then we have to stick to the basic fundamentals of proper biomechanics. So hopefully that made more sense to you guys. And if it did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, become what the telegram is, transparent, volume of truth with coaching. Johnashi.com, guys. If you, want to know, if you want to know what coaching you guys, book yourself a consult, 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of the consult, I deduct the consult off any package that you pick. And you guys, save those descriptions below for all those discount codes and promo codes to help save life or change your life for better. And obviously, Blue Star Nutraceutical, check it out. Link below, 10% off, guys. I'm gonna do a full review on the supplements I am using right now with them and more of a breakdown of this switch. It's great. It's awesome, it's positive, it's amazing. Anyway, back at that later in the next video down the road. Anyway, either way, make sure you guys add me to Instagram and TikTok, guys. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips, and I'll repost it for you. Because you know it is Iron Sharp Iron, because of overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.